The string class was defined to include a number of useful methods, which we will explore in some depth. These allow you to explore subsets of characters and create new strings from existing ones. Manipulating text is a very common programming task, and so we'll want to learn to use the methods with confidence. The string we use to look at these various methods is the one appearing here. All who wander are not lost. The first method is the length method, which returns the number of characters in a string, including white space, and any special characters. We'll use this method when we discuss loops as a way for repeating steps for each element in a set of elements. The length of our string is 27 characters. When comparing one string to another, we will use one of two methods, equals and compare to. The equals method returns a Boolean result that is true when the two strings are exactly the same, including case, and false otherwise. The compare to method is designed to return a positive integer if the parameter is less than the original string, a negative if the parameter is greater than the original string, and zero if the two are equal to one another. Determining whether one string is greater than another string relates back to the ASCII values of characters as we discussed earlier. Comparisons are made one index at a time until the method discovers a difference, and that value is the one that is reported. Comparing the text you see as the parameter, are you lost, to the original string, all who wander are not lost, it would first try to compare the capital A's. Since those two letters are the same, it moves to the second character that you see, the L in one case and the R in the other. Because the R is bigger than the L, meaning it has a higher ASCII value than the L, that method call will produce a negative outcome. In our second example, we're comparing the string added up to all who wander are not lost. Once again, it would skip the original A, and in this case, it would compare the lowercase d to the lowercase l. Because the lowercase l now comes later and it thus has a higher ASCII value than the d, it will produce a positive result. You should experiment with this method until you feel that you have a good grasp of what outcomes you can get from it. Before we talk of any further methods, let's remind ourselves that a string is a set of characters where each individual character can be referenced by an index. These indices start at zero and will run up to the length of the string minus one. In our string, the character capital A is at index zero. The character lowercase h in who is at index five, so on and so forth. The last character, the T in lost, is indexed 26. Next, we'll discuss the index of method. We provide a string to this method as an argument. And the method will search our string, our original string, in order to find the first time this, these characters appear within it. For example, we can search our string for the word who, and the index of method will return 4 because the w in who has the index 4 in our string. As another example, if we simply search for the string consisting of the letter n, the method will return 10. It will never return 19, even though the second n appears at that index. The index of method only finds the first occurrence of a string. Finally, if we use index of to search for the word Purdue, we will return a negative one because it is not found in the original string. There are two versions of the last method we'll discuss. The first takes one argument, an integer, and returns all the characters starting at the given index and following to the end of the string. In this case, when we pass the parameter 19, it gives us the location of the second n, the first letter in the word not, and then carries all the way through to the end of the string, which includes the word lost. The second version has two integers as inputs and returns the set of characters from the first index to the second, not including the endpoint. In this example, 
we start at character 4, which is the W in who. Character 5 is the H, character 6 is the O, and character 7 is the white space. It will not include that white space at character 7, even though 7 is the number that we passed to the method. Next, we're going to discuss a few useful functions for printing outcomes to the terminal window.